Hi, so what we're going to look at um, is uh, some ideas of how to understand your forms. So I've been doing a few videos on praying mantis, so I'll make reference to praying mantis forms. A lot of the forms, most of the forms, are all done linear. You have one or two movements that go off at angles, but generally speaking, they're done backwards and forwards. Okay, once or twice they come off at a slight angle, but very typical of northern Shaolin, they go in a straight line. What happens then is um, you see people trying to understand the applications and they do the applications as they are in the form, in a straight line. Um, and obviously you come across a lot of problems. Fighting isn't just done in a straight line. Okay? If you're not making use of angles, um, all you're doing is butting force onto force. For sure, some movements can be done in a straight line. Okay? Um, but in a straight line, you can go backwards, forwards, or backwards and forwards. Okay? There's three different fighting tactics just in a straight line let alone with the hand techniques. So in our school, we make use of eight different directions that we can step, okay? And it's very, very important to understand that any given movement in a form is not exactly what you think it is, okay? It's a big problem I see it with the praying mantis um, is instructors or students teaching or training um, to try to do the movements exactly as they are in the form, okay? You've got to make use of angles. So let's give you um, some examples, okay? A very common movement in um, Dai Fan Chi, one of the forms, is a movement like this, okay? One, two, three, stepping backwards, okay? Now, some people teach this. If I can use Damien, okay? Um, go slowly because it won't work, okay? Um, as Damien steps in, punch after punch, and as he steps in, punch after punch, I step backwards like that, okay? It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, never gonna work, okay? I'm stepping cross-legged backwards to somebody chasing me, okay, with multiple strikes, okay? You're going to get your head punched off. Okay, it's not not going to. It just can't work. Okay, um, because you're missing the idea. Okay, in in our form, we go across one, two, three, and then I come forward, and then the next time it has a separate ending. But have a look at the footwork. Okay, now look. One of the ways it's applied. Damien steps in with a punch. Okay, I'm behind him. Okay, so look. One. See how the form's done this way. One. Boom. Okay, going on. So if I'm utilizing here and then out loud, as he drives in, see the angle that I've got. Or it allows me to go directly straight behind him. Okay, which in, um, uh, is what we call one of the tur turning a corner, turning a, turning a person's corner. Okay, another movement um, from black tiger cross, black tiger intersection boxing, is a movement that comes from here down like this. Okay, then up and then down like this in uh, Hong Kong, seven star praying mantis, we do it three times. Often you see people demonstrate it as the person kicks at you, okay, and then you shuffle back like this, okay? Not the best idea to do, okay? Um, yes, to valid application, maybe you've got hold of the person's arm and you're rolling backwards and locking down. Maybe, again, but you're not, you're thinking linear. You're thinking in a straight line. You've got to understand there's eight different ways of moving. Okay, I'll explain those in a different video, but just get you thinking. So, have a look. Maybe Damien strikes in at me. Okay, I'm going to do it slowly, just so you can see the footwork. Okay, here, now look. Okay, look one more time at a different angle. Okay, so as, as he drives in, boom, first move. Now look. Okay, here. Here, trap the knee, shoulder, here. Turn. Okay, same movement. Okay. Another very common movement um, is whipping fist. Okay. So Dai Fan Chi again, you have where you jump forward, tiger wipes its face, whipping fist, okay? And often you see people try to do this in a straight line. It can be done, okay. Um, but what happens when I change footwork, okay, with this technique? So let's say just for the ease of the camera, you drive, you drive in with your left hand, okay? Look at my footwork. One, two. Okay, so as he drives forward, one, two. Okay, if I'm standing this way out, one, two. Boom. Okay, um, so I, I turn, okay, with the person. So not necessarily staying straight in front. So the person is striking, trying to stay in front of the person. Okay, you've got to make use of angles. Praying mantis forms have enormous amounts of techniques, really, really good techniques. They have um, the potential to move all the way, but you see people trying to do techniques, everything staying in a straight line, 
Okay, um, Marple Jong, everything in a straight line, not moving the legs. Okay, I've got to make use of angles. Okay, when Damien drives it, angle, angle. Okay, I must make use of angles. These are just two very basic angles. Okay, also footwork backwards and forwards. Okay, in a straight line, and then changing angles completely. Okay, you've got to understand these angles. So when you look at your forms, be aware the training is just in a straight line. Okay, you don't fight in a straight line. Okay, so um, I hope that gives some seeds for thought. Um, I will do another video at another stage where maybe I will show um, the eight methods of footwork. Okay, thank you.